Hallelujah. This show is not for the bastard children of this neighborhood. I'm Andy Lumet. I'm here in, in the town of Brixton, South London, pre presenting my program on Resurrection Day. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus has risen from the dead. Satan, back off in the name of Jesus. This place belongs to Jesus Christ and to me. It does not belong to you. I'm Andrew, a black evangelist. I'm here in my garden. Today is Easter Sunday. I'm going to proclaim the resurrection of Jesus. And there's nothing the devil can do about it. <clears throat> Hallelujah. <clears throat> We're going to be preaching from St. John today, St. John chapter 20. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Before that, I'd like to just read uh, from chapter 18 of St. John. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord, hallelujah, St. John chapter 18, when Jesus had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was an olive grove. And he and his disciples went into the olive grove. Now Judas, who betrayed Jesus, knew the place because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. In the olive grove. Jesus had often met in the olive grove with his disciples. Today I just want to pray that the Holy Ghost will pull a padlock on the mouth of my enemies in this neighborhood. As I present this program, then the bastard kids will not talk in my program to disrupt it until I finish before they open their dirty mouths. In Jesus' name, Amen. The Bible tells in St. John that Jesus went to the olive groves to pray at midnight. St. John chapter 18. And as he was praying, a band of soldiers came to him. This is what happened. St. John 18. They asked him, Jesus asked the band of soldiers, who are you looking for? They said they're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. He said to them, I am Jesus. And the power of God threw them on the ground with their face in the dust. They got from the dust. Jesus asked them again, who is it you're looking for? They said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus told them, I am Jesus. When he said that the power of God knocked them down again with their face in the dust. That's the Roman soldiers. So, he asked them for the third time. There's a lot of breeze here. I have to, like, put my poster. Put, put my poster on the chair. He asked them for the third time. 
who is it you're looking for? They say Jesus of Nazareth. He said he's Jesus. Now they have some Chinese people upstairs. The government brought them here. I want to make him my videos. The pastor kids will be talking my videos. So just ignore that, okay? So three times Jesus asked them, "Who is it you looking for?" They said they want Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said, "But that's me." So then they say, "Oh, we want to have a word with you." King Herod sent us to 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 get you. We want to have a word with you, Jesus. Chapter 18 of St. John. Uh, if you are looking for Jesus, then let the disciples go. This was St. Peter, James, John, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, Alphaeus, Judas. This happened so that the whole, that the words he has spoken would be fulfilled. I have not lost one of those disciples that God gave me. Jesus had fishermen, grown up fishermen, 50 year olds, working for him. Then Simon Peter, who had the sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. Jesus commanded Peter, put your sword away. Shall I not drink the cup the Father has given me? Then the detachment of soldiers with his commander and the officials took Jesus. They bound him and brought him before Ananias, who was the father-in-law of Caiaphas, the high priest that year. Caiaphas was the one who had advised the authorities that it would be good for one man to be crucified for the people. This was the Passover. This week is Easter week in the Christian calendar. And in the Hebrew calendar it's called the Passover where the Lamb of God was sacrificed to redeem the people of Israel. And Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God who was crucified on the cross to redeem the church, to redeem mankind back to God. So Caiaphas said it's better for one person to be crucified for the entire nation. Uh, Jesus was crucified. He was, verse chapter 19 of St. John said, Then Pilate took Jesus and had him flogged. The soldiers twisted together a crown of thorns and put it on his head. They clothed him in a purple robe and, woke and went up to him again and again, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him in the face. Once more Pilate came out and asked the authorities, Look, I am bringing Jesus out to you to let you know that I find no basis for a charge against him. When Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, Pilate said to them, Here is the man. And as soon as the authorities and the officials saw Jesus, they shouted, Crucify him! Crucify him! But Pilate answered, You take him and crucify him. As for me, I find no basis for a charge against Jesus. The authorities insisted, We have a law, and according to that law, he must be crucified because he claimed to be the Son of God. Jesus claimed to be the Son of God. When Pilate heard this, he was even more afraid. Now you have to remember Pilate is the governor. He's a European blue eyed white man who is in Jerusalem as the governor over the Hebrews. And uh, he trying to you know, free Jesus. They said no, crucify him. When Pilate heard this, that Jesus was the son of God, he was even more afraid. He was afraid of Jesus. And he went back inside the palace where do you come from? He asked Jesus. 
But Jesus gave him no answer. Do you refuse to speak to me? Pilate said. Don't you realize I have the power either to free you or to crucify you? Jesus answered, you would have no power over me if it were not given to you from above. Therefore, the one who handed me over to you is guilty of a greater sin. I have to remember, I'm wearing a t-shirt that says, Stop Racism. We are in London, South London. Uh, there's much racism here in the streets, in the shops, Tesco, Sainsbury's, in the market, or uh, Lidl supermarket, Iceland supermarket. See, and my what's racism? When white people uh, vehemently uh, display their hate for black people. See, and my who are white people? Well, white people are English are white, Chinese are white, Arabs are white. Okay. So they are the ones who live around here. Brazilians are white, Chinese are white, Arabs are white, English are white. So when we talk about racism, that those group of evil people, they enjoy the fruits of that evil uh, uh, curse called racism. That's curse. In this story we're reading here, Jesus is being crucified by some white people. I have to remember, during Jesus' time, the whole of Middle East were black people. They were dark-skinned black people so these white people have gone to jerusalem they set up camp there are soldiers and governors and they will nail these jew people to the cross so this day in the bible they brought jesus to the governor called pilate and pilate had jesus flogged they put a crown of thorns on his head they put a purple robe on him and they are mocking him hail king of the jews uh prophesy save yourself now if you are god's son save yourself from this problem uh, but jesus didn't answer them so they brought him from pilate and pilate is saying where do you come from and he said oh don't you realize that i have the power to free you or to crucify you jesus said you have no power over me uh unless it were given from above so pilate took jesus outside as a crowd a um, lynch mob waiting outside you know england is no stranger to a lynch mob they used to hang black people on a tree and the bible said jesus was hung on a tree uh on sundays they'll have a picnic it means pick a nigger they'll, they'll catch a black man or black woman they'll tie him up and put him on a bonfire and roast him alive this is the english religion called wicca where they roast a victim alive while the whole town will stand there and clap and dance and as they watch this horror it's a sadistic religion called wicca that's the traditional english religion they lynch people for excitement they crucify people for excitement, they, they, they clap as this is going on. There were no football games, there were no television, so that was their form of entertainment. They will nail a victim to the cross and watch him cry in agony. That's how they got a kick. So they, they're going to kill Jesus, you see. So the lynch mob is outside saying, oh, hang him, crucify him, crucify him. So Pilate said, what has he done? It's, uh, our Lord said we should get... Anyway, this is Easter week. Okay? Easter week, uh, I'll give you an example. King Herod was celebrating... Uh, shut up, you bastard kid. Don't talk in my video. King Herod was celebrating his... Uh, I have to shut the bastards up the next door. King Herod was celebrating his 60th jubilee anniversary during that celebration he called james, john the baptist and put him in a dungeon whenever there's a big occasion these people will grab a christian to sacrifice him in this instant now jesus was being sacrificed as the sheep uh, to be sacrificed the romans do that 
the Hebrew was sacrifice or sheep, but the Romans were sacrifice or human being. This was the old time of their, their religion. They're called to do this. So Jesus is now bound, and they are now gambling whether they should crucify him or not. You have two groups. You have the Europeans on one side, and the people in that town on the other side. You see, so Pilate brought Jesus out to them and say, uh, "Now it was the day of preparation, and the next day." was to be a special sabbath because the hebrews did not want the bodies left on the cross during the sabbath they asked pilate to have their legs broken and the bodies taken down the soldiers therefore came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with jesus and then those of the other but when they came to Jesus and found that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side, the side of Jesus with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. They pierced Jesus' side with the sword, with the spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. The man who saw it has given testimony and his testimony is true he knows that he tells the truth and he testifies so that you also may believe the man who saw the crucifixion of Jesus st. John the Apostle he wrote this Bible the Bible says he testified so that the church will believe that Jesus was crucified on the cross. Uh, this program is not for the bastard kids of this neighborhood. It's not for the bastard kids of England. It's not for no bastard kids. The people who log on to my channel are from 35 year old to 60 year old. I teach the house. Of, I instruct the house of parliament of England God's wisdom. Praise the Lord. So now, Jesus died on the cross. He was crucified. And on the third day, he rose from the dead. He was crucified on Good Friday. Two days ago was Good Friday. And today is Easter Sunday. Now, this is our ministry. This is our ministry uh, details here. My name is Andy Lomer, the evangelist. Or you can find our videos. This video you're watching now, you subscribe to. We are on YouTube, and we have some MP3 on SoundCloud of our teachings of the gospel. This is the name of the church, London River of Life. It's an outreach. It's not a church in a building. We go out in the streets to preach the gospel outdoors to sinners to get them saved. We also give out Christian literature throughout uh, the city of London. We gave 150,000 flyers door to door throughout Kensington and Chelsea, Knightsbridge, Sloan Square, and the surrounding areas. So we're doing a great job in London. Uh, our telephone number is 074-356-71740. Email is obeglory at outlook.com. Uh, Jesus Christ is Lord. This ministry is not for kids under 21 year old. All right. So Jesus rose from the dead on Easter Sunday. Today is Easter Sunday. This is the day of victory for all Christians. All Christians. Last week God told me the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the resurrection of the black man. Uh, you all know that the black man suffered slavery for 400 years. The British were kidnappers. They kidnapped 70 million Africans and made slaves out of them, Caribbean, Jamaica, Barbados, Bahamas, in the United States. After 400 years of slavery, the British also went to Africa and colonized the African countries for another 300 years so up until recently most of those countries got their independence so when we talk about the resurrection of jesus 
the Bible say, Christ in you is the hope of glory. Jesus rose from the dead. He went to heaven. But he sent the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, which came on the day of Pentecost, and it, it filled the disciples. The Holy Ghost is in us. That means Christ is in us. Amen? So it says Christ in the disciples, Christ in the Christians, is the hope of glory. Jesus Christ is the hope of glory. So when, when we say Jesus has risen from the dead, Jesus in us has risen from the dead. We are we are we don't have a dead spirit no longer. Our spirit is alive. This is the, uh, the, the 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 chapter on the resurrection. Saint John chapter twenty, from verse thirteen. Jesus, uh, Mary Magdalene went to the grave where Jesus was buried. She went to the grave early on Sunday morning, this morning, and what did she see? The grave was empty, completely empty. But she saw an angel of the Lord who asked her, who is it you're looking for? She said, she's looking for Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who was crucified. The angel says, He's not here. He has risen. Go and tell the disciples. So on her way to tell the disciples, she met Jesus, risen from the dead. But she did not recognize Jesus. So this is the, 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 the story here. The, uh, she says to the angel, they have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there but she did not realize that it was Jesus this happened in the cemetery early in the morning woman he said why are you crying who is it you are looking for thinking he was the gardener she said sir if you have carried Jesus away tell me where you have put Jesus and I will get him she brought some anointing oil to, to, to put it on the body of Jesus, you see, but she doesn't know that Jesus have risen from the dead just as he said he would after three days. Uh, she said she's looking for Jesus. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned towards him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabboni, which means master. Rabboni, which means master amen jesus said to her do not hold on to me for i have not yet returned to the heavenly father go instead to the brethren to the disciples of simon peter james john andrew bartholomew matthew thomas tell them he's returning to the father in heaven my father in heaven to your mother to my god and to your god Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had what he had said to tell them. She told them that he had said these things to her. So, what am I saying? The resurrection of Jesus Christ is a truth. The Bible says, if Christ did not rise from the dead, then our, our preaching, our gospel is in vain. The whole of Christianity hangs on that one proof that our Lord Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. And God told me a few days ago that the resurrection of Jesus Christ means the resurrection of the black man, the black race, as you see today. All white race is coming to an end. They are fighting among themselves. The Russian fight the Ukrainians. The English fight uh, the, the Afghans. The, the Iraqis fight this. They are all white people are at war at this time. They're fighting among themselves. The white people are killing each other. The black man time to rule this earth has come. 
And God said, I should tell the black man of England, the black woman of England, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is the resurrection of the black man because Christ in you is the hope of glory. The Bible declares that greater is he that's in you than the devil that's in the world. Hallelujah. When we say the white man, if, if your skin is not black, you are a white man. See so what you mean? Arabs are white. And they. Pakistanis are white. Chinese are white. British, English people are white. French people are white. Mexicans are white. These people have ruled the earth for 7,000 years. They killed Jesus. Chinese killed Jesus. English killed Jesus. Mexicans killed Jesus. They are white. Every time you see a white person, that, that pale skinned devil, the time has come for them to, to be subjugated and vanish from this earth. So when the Bible says the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Christ means the resurrection of the black man and the black woman. Amen. My name is Andrew Mary Evangelist. I'm here in my garden today, just enjoying myself. are risen Christ has risen he is our hope of glory Today is Resurrection Day. This is the joyous celebration for all Christians. Our Lord has risen from the dead. How do you experience this resurrection power? The book says, the Bible declares in the book of Romans 10 9 says, The word is near you, it is in your mouth and in your heart. This is the word of faith we proclaim. That if you say with your mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that Jesus died on the cross and God raised him from the dead you shall be saved you shall be saved amen when Jesus started preaching he said repent for the kingdom of heaven has come to you repent for the kingdom of heaven has come 
to you. What does it mean to repent? Repent means turn away from your sin. It's an old English word means uh, if you are going south, it's repent would mean stop turning around and go north. I mean you have missed the road. Amen. So our main focus today is to stop racism in England. Racism can be stopped in England. The government spent uh, millions of pounds to educate the white racist people, the white people about Corona flu. There's a poster all over. It's all oh, the Corona flu is here. Do this. Put a mask on your face. Wash your hands. Take the flu jab. Take the vaccine. The government spent millions of pounds advertising that. They can spend that same money advertising stop racism. If they really wanted to stop, they can stop it. Racism is simply a big word, meaning the white man's hatred for black people. Racism is inherited and is also taught to white people from infancy. There at the library, there are two babies in the pram. One is white, one is black. And the white baby in the pram is telling the black child, they are both one year old, telling the black child, go back home to Jamaica. Go back home. Now, who taught that white baby to be a devil? The mother or, 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 or probably the, 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 the neighbors. As small as that devil was in the pram, he's telling the black child, they're both one year old, they're in the pram at the nursery. The white baby is telling the black uh, Jamaican, go back to Jamaica, go back home. Now, where did that uh, little bastard child learn that uh, hate, racial hatred? Where did he learn it? From his prostitute mother. She taught him racism, or his uh, pedophile father. She taught him racism. Here is a... You see that 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 testimony there that that testimony is somebody a disabled woman who was uh, molested by the government and the education system they still want to take her car so she she came to our meeting to to complain about the racism Hello, I came across your YouTube channel I was very surprised as I've never heard a black pastor speak out against injustice Again. You see, so that 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 lady is saying that she has suffered racism. There are a lot of people suffering in this country at the hand of the white people. And when I say white people, if the person if you pass it on the road, you see anybody whose skin is not dark, that's if the skin the skin is not black like you. That's the devil. They are the ones doing this racism. All white people enjoy race. They'll say, oh, we're not racist. We are not the one in power. It's the Englishman. No. All white people enjoy racism. Okay? If you go to fill in any form in England, whether it's NHS or housing or jobs, they will say, your race, white English, white uh, Irish or white Scottish, white Chinese, white Arab, white European. And then they will ask whether you're black. So they want to see if you are black or white. So if the person is not black, that's your enemy. That's it. They, they are the one perpetuating this racism. All white people uh, enjoy the fruits of that iniquitous uh, crime called racism. Don't be fooled. Don't say, oh, these are Mexicans. They, they are our brethren. No, the Mexicans is as racist as the English. In fact, they go between black people. The Chinese is as racist as the English. The Arab is as racist as the English. Okay. 
they all if the person's skin is not white that's your enemy so that's the message i'll leave with you today my name is Andy Lumet, a black evangelist um i'm saying god bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace this is uh, a poster we made for one of our campaign a few months ago from the book of Jonah. God told Jonah, go and tell the people in Nineveh, 40 days more and Nineveh will be overthrown. Nineveh was doing racism against the Hebrews and the, God sent the prophet there to go and warn them that within 40 days, if they don't change their mind from being racist bigots, God said he will destroy Nineveh. The people of Nineveh heard the gospel that Jonah preached and they believed and they repented from their racism and turned to God. Jesus came to town, he said, just as Jonah preached and the people of Nineveh believed, so, so he has come to preach too. Okay? So God bless you. My name is Andre Lumet. See you in uh, another episode. Today is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is a sign we made here. I say Jesus Christ is Lord. This is the message. The Bible says, if you say with your mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Amen? So don't forget, your enemy, if, if the person's skin is not black, that's your enemy. All white people are united. Like I speak, there's a war going on in Ukraine. The British government go to Ukraine and bring the white people who are suffering from the war bring them to London and give them house and car and everything. The black, there are black people in Ukraine, but the government leave them there suffering, but they took the white people out. Why? Because all white people are related. So the white man is not your friend. Don't be fooled. He at work. He says, oh, it's a nice white people. Listen, I was born and raised among white people. I came to Brixton a few months ago. Okay, so if I tell you the white man is not your, not your friend, I have found that out for myself. Remember this truth. Amen. God bless you. Peace to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Peace to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hello, my friend. I have a music I have to go. No, tell me why they came out of the EU. Why they came out of the EU? Yeah. Because they don't want to share anymore. They want to regain their, their heritage. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. So what, what they're doing now, they're... Uh,